Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to buy a Minecraft server with Apex Minecraft hosting. We personally use Apex for our server, play.breakdowncraft.com, and they are an absolutely incredible host with 24-hour live support. We can actually test that out here in just one second. But I'm going to be showing you how to buy a server from start to finish. Then at the end, we're going to be testing out the support. I've also got additional tutorials in the description down below on how to add plugins, how to add mods, how to do other stuff with Apex. But today we're just going to be setting up a vanilla Minecraft server basically one that doesn't have any mods or plugins or anything on it however you can do all that with apex without any problems it's very very simple but again those tutorials are linked in the description down below so nevertheless let's go ahead and get started so from the description down below the first link is this link to apex minecraft hosting and once you were here just click on this get started button when you click on that it's going to take you here where you'll see all of their different server pricing as you can see you can get a discount for your first month and then it will be more after that first month depending on the package you go with the most popular is this 4 gigabyte RAM server. That's a decent amount of RAM there, and that's going to allow you to have pretty much no worries about RAM with mods and plugins and some things like that on there. Once you start to get over about 50 players in your server or 50 plugins, whichever comes first, you're going to probably need more RAM. However, you do have all sorts of RAM packages all the way up to 16 gigabytes with Apex without a problem. We're going to be going for this 4 gigabyte RAM option, though. Let's go ahead and click Order Now. That will then take us off here to our shopping cart, where we can go ahead and, conf and confirm that the price is a $19.99 monthly or we can do $53.99 for each quarter whichever one you want you do a discount if you go quarterly however the first month will just be $14.99 here and then you want to go ahead and enter in your Minecraft username. I'm going to go ahead and actually enter in a different username here because, uh, well, I've got so many Apex accounts, it's kind of overwhelming. So for this, I'm actually going to enter in daily videos. That's actually not even a username that I have, to be honest, but it is one that I know is available and will work here. But you want to enter in your Minecraft username because it's going to automatically op you when you do that, and that's what I recommend. Now, every Apex server gets a free subdomain if you want. So we're going to do this uh, tutorial server... 14 or 12. We'll see if that's available. And boom, that sort of domain is available, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, make sure we spell tutorial correctly there. But anyway, that subdomain is available. I'll show you how to use that here in a second. Now, for your server version, I would recommend Paper. Now, Paper is going to be very, very efficient. It's going to be lag-free, and you're going to have all the vanilla features, but if you want to add plugins, you can, right? That is something that I would recommend. You can change your server version later, right? At any time, you can change your server version with Apex. So if you wanted to host a vanilla server, though, you would just come in here and click on Minecraft 1.16.1, but we're going to do Minecraft 1.16.1 Paper because, again, that's going to give us the best bang for our buck with the performance allowing you to add plugins later on if you want without having to change your server version. But you can see what Apex does have to offer here. They have so many different mod packs, whether you're looking for Technic mod packs, or whether you're looking for, you know, different game modes. They have Bed Wars, Capture the Flag, all this stuff, factions. You know, they have Kit PvP, MCMMO setups, all sorts of awesome stuff here. Prison. And then they have Vanilla Plus, which is a cool 1.16 vanilla setup that you can just get kind of running with a vanilla survival server very quickly and easily. On top of all of these mod packs, they also have FTB mod packs. If we come down here, we've got Craft Bucket as well, all the different Forge versions, and then here are all of the Curse Forge mod packs here, including, you know, Agnematic, Farmer, Farming Valley, I mean, so many mods, it's just overwhelming, Sky Factory 4, so many stuff, and then there are all the FTB mod packs as well, so tons and tons of stuff there, but we're just going to do Minecraft 1.16.1 Paper, which is basically a vanilla server, that if we want to add plugins to, we can easily do that later on. Now, for our server location here, you're going to want to click the one that's closest to you. Now, I live in Florida, so for me, that's going to be the Miami, Florida location. If you live in the center of the country, it might be Dallas, or it could be, you know, something like a Portland, Oregon, if you live on, you know, the west coast of the United States. There's also Las Vegas, Nevada. There's Virginia, if you live towards, you know, New York and that area. And then there also is Sydney, Australia, Russia, China, all these different locations, you know, that you can host a server with. Apex truly can serve anyone in the world with a server close to them. That was a goal they said a while back, and they have now accomplished that with, as you can see, tons of different locations. Anyway, we're going to be going with Miami, Florida because that is the closest one to me. And you do have this premium support and plugin installation and stuff like that. That is a great, great feature if you aren't comfortable adding plugins yourself or any, you know, getting a mod pack set up or anything. They will reach out and do that with you directly, but you don't have to do that, so you can leave all of those unchecked. And we can go ahead and click continue here. That's then going to take us off to this page here where we just confirm everything one more time that we do, in fact, want a Miami, Florida server. We want four gigabytes, and we are good to go with that. And then we can go ahead and click check out on the right-hand side. Now, I'm going to go ahead, enter in all this information, and then click the complete order at the very bottom. That's going to then jump cut me to the next page, right? So basically, you're not going to see me on this page again because, I mean, there's a lot of information we don't, you know, you don't want to give out publicly. So we're just going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut to the next page that you'll be on after you click the complete order button down here. And there we go. Our order has been completed 
with Apex. Now, as you can see, thank you for being awesome. It gives you kind of an overview of some different stuff here about your server. I would recommend reading all of this, but I'll be covering a lot of it in this video. But the first thing you want to do is check for the new email, new product information. It can take some time and it could go into your spam folder. I'm going to go ahead and get that in my email open and then we'll be good to go. So if we open up our email, this is the first email you get from Apex. This is your order confirmation. Basically, this is a receipt of the purchase, right? It's kind of giving you a breakdown of the purchase, just a receipt there, nothing too crazy. Then the other email you'll get is this one. This is the basically your new Minecraft server information. It is the information that you want. This is the one that we're talking about with new product information. That's the same. New product information is the your new Minecraft server information email. So now all we need to do is copy this IP address, right? So just go ahead and copy that IP that's right here. This is the IP address of your Minecraft server. And then come over here into Minecraft, right? This is 1.16.1 Minecraft. Click on add server down here and then name this my apex server right like so and then go ahead and paste in the IP address where it says server address there and click done and then you'll have this my apex server here if you refresh it will come online here in just one moment and you'll be able to join it it's that simple and that easy there it is there you go my apex server and we can go ahead and double click on that and it will join right on in this is your apex minecraft hosting server it is set up it is running you are good to go right the hard part of it is over Pretty nice spawn here, pretty cool stuff. However, I wanna show you how to log into your backend if for whatever reason you need to restart your server or you wanna do anything in the console, like give yourself op, stuff like that. Well, to do that, it's pretty simple. You just wanna come back to this email here and then scroll down until you see this panel account. And I'm gonna change my password so we can just leave that unblurred there. But let's go ahead and copy the password. Our login is going to be our username. If someone else has entered your username on Apex before though, there might be a dash one at the end or something like that or underscore one. If that's the case, you wanna copy this. But overall, click on this panel login button. That will then go ahead and open up the Apex C panel. Now, for me, that's actually opened up on my other browser. I have two browsers and that's opened up on my other one, so I had to open it up here. But then we'll take you to a page that looks like this. Now, for us, it was daily videos. For you, it's gonna be whatever it was back on that email. And then the password you got in the email there, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and enter that. And then we can go ahead and click stay logged in if you want, doesn't matter. And then go ahead and click log in. And then boom, here is our server. As you can see, daily videos, this Minecraft server. And then we've got it in the Miami, Florida location. Now, as I said, you do get this subdomain. So if we go ahead and copy this over here at the right, click that little copy button and we log out of our server. See, I think we can kind of, that's a memorable photo. If we disconnect and this time direct connect in to the server here, tutorial server 12.apexminecrafthosting.co or .apexmc.co, excuse me, and click join server, it's gonna put us right back in that same place because that IP is something you can give to your friends. So it's a lot easier to give your friends the IP address that's listed here, whatever yours is, than it is this big long number. However, they can join off of either one. Now we can come down here and see where we can switch our jar file. So if we said, ah, well, we want a vanilla server. We don't want paper. We can go back to a vanilla there. Or if you want to add in Minecraft or whatever, you can do all that. Or sorry, any mod packs or anything like that. You can do all of that here. So pretty cool stuff. One last thing I want to mention is the console over here on the left-hand side. If you click on console on the left-hand side, this is the console for your Minecraft server. Now, there is a black box down here on this screen because, well, there's my IP addresses. We don't want to link those, so we've got those blacked out. But if you wanted to op yourself, you just type in op and then your username. So op Nick's games and hit enter, and that's going to op you in game. You might be opt already, but this is just one of those things of, you know, make sure that you're opt there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. On the left-hand side, there are tutorials to basically deal with whatever page that you're on. So there are some tutorials over here on the left-hand side. If we go back to this page, there's more tutorials down here. No matter where you go on this, you know, C panel, there's all these awesome tutorials to help you out. But there is also Apex's support. First, I do want to prove to you that I am opt-in game. As you can see, Nick James is a software server operator. We can go ahead and do things like slash game mode creative because we are an operator. If you don't want your friends to be able to do that, don't give them op on your server. Pretty simple stuff. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make the face cam go away down here in the bottom right. And we have this little chat icon up here. If you click on this, it's going to open up a little pop-up. It's going to have my email there automatically, so I don't want that to kind of get out there. So let me go ahead, open this, delete that, and it'll be good. But when you click on this, it'll open up this where you can enter in your information. So the control panel username here that you have, your account. As you can see, I've just entered in a test email there. And then a question. I just said, hey, you know, this is me and, and all that stuff. Thanks for thinking Apex for all that they do because they're awesome over here. But now we go ahead and click start chat. We'll be able to see how fast we got. So look at that. Boom. Instantly. And this isn't just a random person. I can say, hey, what's up? Like this isn't a bot or anything. We can just say, hey, what's up? And then they will read it and they will say, you know, something back to that. Um, like just testing your support for a video. So yeah, awesome stuff there. And we can see that this is actually a person. Hello, Nick. Boom. There we go. Instant support. That was live. That was real time. No cuts, no anything. That's how quick it is. Um, just showing how quick you guys are. Thanks for helping. I did do a jump cut there to top that out because that's just easier. But there you go. There is that. 
Apex supports fast. That's what I wanted to show you all, and that is very, very awesome. So we can go ahead and bring back my face cam here and kind of sign off this video. I mean, that is that. That is Apex Minecraft hosting. You can see that the server is here. It is up, running, awesome, looking good back here. I showed you how to op yourself, how to access the console, and how to access all these tutorials. But again, if you do have any issues, just click on that little icon in the bottom right of every single page on Apex Minecraft hosting this little icon down here in the bottom right. It'll be a little question mark, a little chat icon. Click on that and you can talk to anyone on their live chat support very, very fast. They're awesome. So go check out Apex to get your server set up if you haven't already. But there you go. That is how you can buy a Minecraft server. It's very, very simple. No port forwarding. You saw how quick and easy it was. And yeah, overall, it is the simplest and easiest way to get a server. If you do want to add plugins to your server, we got a link in the description down below on how to do that with Apex. We also got a link in the description on how to set up a, you know, board server with Apex and add mods to that server. That's linked in the description down below as well. And on top of that, you can add any mod pack you want from this list here with just one-click installation. Super, super easy and super, super awesome stuff. But um, yeah, there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy your new server with Apex Minecraft Hosting. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.